How do you see monitoring to help your utilization of Sagamidex or impact utilization of Sagamidex? Here at my institution, the use of Sugamidex is restricted, if you will, to cases in which um, a patient is showing signs of residual neuromuscular blockade after neostigmine or um, in cases where the drapes are down and um, the resident may have just given, you know, um, a redose of um, paralytic agent. So it is not encouraged um, to be used due to its cost. Um, I agree with our other speakers that I don't think that the availability of Sugamidex um, changes the need for quantitative monitoring. I think even with if you plan to use Sugamidex, you need to know um, what level of paralysis you have in order to dose the Sugamidex correctly. And also, it is not as um, fast and reliable in all patients. There have been some patients who are sort of slow responders to Sugamidex, and it's really helpful to have quantitative monitoring in those individuals.